But where the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite and claws that catch, but where the jubjub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch? Hey friends, my name's Gabrielle, welcome to Frumious Reads. So, I have a really exciting book for you guys today. For those of you who don't know, Alice in Wonderland, and in general, just in the bookish sense and the whole world it creates, is my favorite book ever. I've read a lot of Alice in Wonderland spin-offs. This book ranks the highest. It is Alice by Christina Henry. I think I need to take a moment to breathe. So this book like takes off immediately. It starts off with Alice trapped in this mental hospital. She only has a vague memory of why she's there and it's just because she's kept talking about the rabbit and nobody believed her. So she's there and she's been there for 10 years. So since she was 16 years old. One day all of a sudden there's a fire in the hospital that allows her and her friend next door, Hatcher, they escape into Old Town but also something dark and evil from the hospital has escaped as well. Now while they get into Old Town, both of them are struggling to recover their memories of who they are, why they were locked away, what they were doing, and who the rabbit is that Alice keeps talking about. I am getting chills talking about this book. This book is so good. It's just so well done. It is essentially Alice in Wonderland for adults. The plot itself is amazing. There's the biggest conflict, which is the Jabberwocky, who is a dark evil creature who escaped from the mental hospital with Alice and Hatcher. And then there's also the mini conflicts of who is Hatcher? Why can't he remember his past? What did the rabbit do to Alice and why is Alice so important to him? The general fights and uh, like misadventures that they have in Old Town as they're trying to find a weapon to defeat the Jabberwocky. There are so many cameo appearances from the original characters in Alice in Wonderland and they are done so differently than you would expect. It's dark and twisted but also it still keeps that almost childlike aspect of Alice in Wonderland of magic and just Alice as a person. Alice I loved because she is portrayed as a 26 year old woman with the mentality of a 16 year old and she addresses this multiple times because she says that her childhood was stolen from her while she was in the mental hospital and she has to learn how to be an adult when she never really got to finish her childhood. I thought that was really great. Her personality was fantastic. I love how she goes from just kind of being naive and young and knowing this about herself, having that initiative to grow. I love the characterization of the Hatter because he's still mad. Like you could still see him as being mad but he's also street savvy and smart and he kind of reminds me a little bit of the Winter Soldier at certain times. So I thought that was really cool too. I thought that was a really interesting aspect of it. How very rough and cunning he is. There's just so many different aspects of Alice in Wonderland that are present in this book and so well done and so well incorporated into the story. It reminds you enough of Alice in Wonderland to remember like, oh my gosh, this is so cool because we're reading it, but it's not enough of Alice in Wonderland to make you feel like you're just rereading the same story. This book was a five out of five for me. I absolutely adored it. I cannot get enough of it. There is another book coming out in this series. I think it's called The Red Queen or something like that. I don't know when it's coming out. I cannot wait for the rest of the series to come out. And honestly, I just, I think this is enough to tide me over until the actual Alice in Wonderland 2 movie comes out. Okay, I have fangirled enough. I cannot stop talking about how fantastic this book is. This book, I couldn't even wait to do my weekly wrap up for because I just loved it so much. It needed its own separate video. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. I post bookish videos to twice a week. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have read this book and what your thoughts were. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't seen my last video, then it will be playing right after this, so make sure you stick around for that, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Oh my god, she's coming out with an eighth book. What? Like, when, where, like, how?